Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, we're going to see what are the different fragrances by price range. Okay, so different fragrances by different price range. I live in Canada, so those prices are relatively Canadian, but it's more like an approximation than anything so it would work wherever you are really unless those price are doesn't make sense at all um so first of all first price bracket are the cheapy which are those from zero to fifty dollar now again what you consider cheap might change from a person to another but i would put the cheapy in that category from zero to fifty and uh, there are many types of cheapy but there's two main type of cheapy they are like bad fragrance that are cheap and they're cheap because they're bad you can think of like some kind of a bad clone like uh, those fake aquadigio bottle that looks super cheap uh, that you find in some place could be also just like a really bad fragrance and there are also the more older fragrance that stood the test of time but had a little bit of difficulty on the sales and it's just cheaper you can think of Corum, which is one of my favorite fragrance it's like 20 bucks and it's absolutely amazing but still it's just 20 bucks so there's good stuff there's bad stuff but definitely you can find amazing fragrance in that price range you need to take a look and that's it now there's the 50 to 100 dollar that's what i call the low designer low designer are like designer fragrance but that are not like specifically a uh, famous or that are not like famous for their fragrance um the first brand that would come in my mind would be tamil figure and uh, their fragrance is not like you know some people like it i'm not saying they're bad fragrance at that price point but they're not like zia uh, lacoste and stuff like that they're not those big big brand they're cheaper typically it's, it's not the price where people will get fragrance but can still find good stuff but i, I feel there's a big difference between that price bracket and the other one typically because i, I think 50 to 100 dollar uh, it's more of an afterthought for the brands that like every brand have a perfume so we're gonna have one too and it's more that kind of fragrance than really like something that they really put thought into it like the bracket after which is from 100 to 200 dollar which is the high designer high designer again Zia, um, Yves Saint Laurent could be a good brand to exemplify those fragrance typically they are all the mass appealing fragrance the reason they are more expensive would be most Mostly because yes they put a bit more effort into it so they probably paid more for the creation not like for the product itself but for the creative process of the fragrance and also they're putting more money in the marketing of the fragrance it's a bigger investment on the part of the company so they want to sell it for more profit typically the fragrance from 100 to 200 would be better to 50 to 100 but it's not always the case there are some good fragrance in all the price points there is some super bad fragrance in all the price as just typically there are the more loved fragrance also 100 to 200 most people are able to afford a fragrance at that price and even if it's for some people it might be expensive it's still within the reach of like a reasonable price for a fragrance so i feel it's kind of the price point most people will turn into unless people that just don't care about the fragrance that just want to pay the less possible usually that's where people will buy your fragrance. Their price point after that is 200 to 300. That's my favorite price point for fragrance. And the reason is that those fragrances are typically high quality. At that price point, they have enough profit to not really care much about like being super mass appealing. Of course, they want to make sales, but typically they have a bigger creative process. Typically, it will be those like private line in some companies that will have a uh, um, those fragrance uh, one of uh, my favorite line in that price range is les absolus de rien by guerlain but fragrance in that point usually are really nice you see the quality of the ingredients they they do use good quality it's not like cheap synthetic stuff that they, they take it's real good ingredients and that shows in the price of course that's why it's more expensive but there's a difference a really a big difference in the quality also versus the other price point it's the price point i feel that offer the most like over 300 i don't think the quality get better it's more of the price than anything else so 300 to 500 dollar 
the other price point, those fragrances are the fragrances that are only selling exclusivity. Most people, they won't buy those fragrances because they are too expensive. It will be usually niche fragrance in that category. Mostly people that want something good, want something nice, and want something unique. This is where people will pay that amount of money, 300 to 500. That will be great fragrance, I would say, at the same quality as those 200 to 300. But... There's the exclusivity side. You need to find those company. You need to find those fragrance. It's not fragrance that you'll find at the mall. You need to go to a specialized place for those fragrance. It makes it more complicated. So really what you get at that price point is exclusivity. Then there's 500 to 1,000. And I could say to 1,000 plus to see also. I mean, it, it fits in the same bracket, but not quite. 500 to 1,000, what you're getting is luxury. They are brands that are selling something that's expensive and you're mostly paying for the brand. Also, you're paying exclusivity, but with the price. And that's also the $1,000 plus. That's the same thing. It's exclusivity. It's hard to find a $5,000 fragrance. And if you have the money, probably the person that have it for sale will find you. Those fragrance from that, like $500 to $1,000, you can find them in stores, especially a luxury store. Over a thousand, typically you need to search more for it. So there's really the exclusivity, and it will be an exclusivity from the price. If you buy a seven hundred dollar fragrance, you know most people they won't buy this. Probably the only one with that fragrance. And if you have like a five thousand dollar fragrance, you know no one will have it because people don't necessarily always have the money for it, and also they don't know where to buy it when they do. So that's what you get. Over 500, that's what you get. It's really exclusivity from the price. And I know some people would say some fragrance like Tom Ford, uh, Creed, they say, oh, it's really expensive. And But that's what they're doing. It's exclusivity by, by price. It's not expensive. It's not too expensive. I don't think Tom Ford is too expensive. If you think it's expensive, it's perfect. It's because the fragrance is not made for you. It's made for people that don't care. That 500 bucks is nothing. They just want that fragrance, that it smells good, and no one else have it. They pay for it. And even if you think it will, the smell could be done for a cheaper price, the exclusivity need that price. And that's what you're getting for 500 and plus for the exclusivity. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, like and share. If you have any question on the price point or you disagree with what I'm saying, put it in the comment. I'll be happy to hear from you. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.